Hello everyone, this is Kona, and thank you for tuning in for another video. This one is actually going to be a tutorial on how to get non-TF2 things into Source Filmmaker. I've been having a whole lot of fun with Source Filmmaker, especially those non-TF2 stuff, because we've seen a whole bunch of TF2 videos, but it's really the ones like Portal 2 here that I really like to do. Um, it's really, really fun to work with these types of uh, models that are not in Source Filmmaker by default. So I'm going to teach you how to get these things into Source Filmmaker so that you can start playing around and making really cool movies. Now the first thing you're going to need to know is that you're going to need the actual game to import all these resources into Source Filmmaker. You have to have bought the game and have it in your Steam library. That way it's saved to your computer because we're going to actually just copy, sort of copy the game files to Source Filmmaker. We're not going to make a direct copy because we have to actually extract some things and do some uh, processing as well. But basically we need the actual game files on your computer in order to do anything. So you need to have bought the game and have it downloaded in your Steam library. To get started we're going to need a tool called GCFscape. You can search that on Google. It's part of NEMS tools. He makes a whole bunch of these tools for working with Valve types of files because Valve makes their own types of files for their games. He has this one called GCFscape, which is going to be used to look into VPK files. VPK files are kind of like zip files. What Valve likes to do is they don't like to show all the game files up to you, you know, in, in the uh, Windows Explorer. They like to hide some of these files from you in these VP, VPK sort of like zip files. So this program, GCFscape, is going to allow us to look into those zip files, look at all the resources of the games, and extract them. And this is a way to even get, if you're interested in like songs or sounds of the games, these are actually a method of getting those out of the game. So once you have GCFscape on your computer, now it's time to actually look at these files and extract them. In this case, I'm going to use Counter-Strike Global Offensive as an example. I already have Portal 2 on my computer, so I'm going to get Counter-Strike Global Offensive on my computer uh, into Source Filmmaker now. So if you navigate to your Steam app's common library, you'll see the whole list of games that you have that are under the common uh, folder. In this case, I have Counter-Strike Global Offensive right here. I'm going to click on that, open that up and go to CSGO, that's Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And in here you can see a bunch of these folders. Now sometimes I don't like to trust these folders because they may not have all the resources that I want. What I'm really interested in is if you scroll down are these things. The .vpk files. Like I said before, these are kind of like zip files that Valve makes. They package all the game resources into these different numbered uh, uh, files and it's kind of like hiding all these resources from you. It's kind of like putting in a zip file. But what we really want is the stuff that in, that's inside these files. To get to them, we're going to look for a file called pack01 underscore directory or dir dot vpk. Basically, this file acts as the directory for all of these numbered files. So we're really interested in just the dir one. So if we click on that, you can right click and open with, and you can open with uh, GCFscape. So when it opens, you'll see a, a file browser, and you can see all the actual files that it's hiding away from us. And this is the stuff that we want. We want these files. You can see the materials, the, uh, the models and stuff, the particles, and the sounds. Those four folders are the main ones that you're interested in, but what I usually do is I just extract all of them. So what we want is these files, and we want them in... Uh, we want to extract these files into another folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another folder on the desktop and just label it CSGO for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Just like that. Now, uh, what I want to do is extract all of these. So in GCFscape, I'm just going to select all of them. You can just click select, uh, some, uh, left click and uh, use shift to select them all. Right click on these selected items and click extract and it's going to ask you where do you want to extract these files to. I want to extract them to that folder that I just made on the desktop, CSGO, it's right here. And click OK. And now just sit back and relax and watch this thing extract itself. It might take a while depending on how big the game is. I think Portal 2 is actually bigger than Counter-Strike Global Offensive, I'm not exactly sure. But it takes a while for this stuff to extract fully. So. Go ahead and get yourself a cup of coffee or something. Almost there. 
Yes, okay, now it's done. <laughs> All right, so now that everything is fully extracted with GCFscape, we're not going to need this anymore. You can close that out. And on the on the desktop where I created the CSG folder where I extracted the stuff to, if you open this up, you'll see that there are all the things here that I extracted. So now I have actual file access to all of these things. Materials, models, particles, and the sounds are the most important. We're not quite done yet because these files actually have to be kind of processed first before they can be used in Source Filmmaker. Now if you go to uh, if you go to the link, I'll provide a link to this forum thread. Uh, I want to I want to thank Smash Man for posting this. This is this is a really good text tutorial on how to do this, uh, and he includes this uh, .bat file for processing the model files to get them ready for Source Filmmaker. So uh, here you can actually just go ahead and download this. And if I go to downloads, here it is in my downloads. And basically, what I'm gonna do is, in my CSG folder that I just made, that I just made to put all this, uh, all these files in, I'm going to take this model process bat and just put it on the same level. So it should be on the same level as the files or folders you just extracted f uh, with G uh, GCF Scape. Okay. Once you have that, just click on the model process bat and run it and you'll see a command window pop up and you'll see it processing a whole bunch of files and just let it sit until uh, the screen goes away. Alright, now that it's done processing, uh, these files are now ready to be put into Source Filmmaker. So we're just going to move this uh, CSGO folder into the correct location uh, so that Source for Filmmaker knows where to find it. So if you go to your commons folder, source filmmaker, and game. This is where you put all the folders for all the different games that you want to have in source filmmaker. You can see that there's half, uh, oh wow, the uh, Left 4 Dead stuff was added because they added the new models, uh, the, three, the four players. I have my Portal 2 stuff here, the regular TF2 stuff, and uh, I also added some TF2 stuff from Man vs. Machine. But you can put all your custom stuff in here and separate them by game. So basically what we want to do is we want to take that CSGO folder that we just processed and just drag it into this folder, the game folder in Source Filmmaker. All right, so once it's moved, you'll see the CSGO folder in the same place as all the other game folders. Now there's one more thing that we have to do, and we have to let Source Filmmaker know that we actually added CSGO, because it won't actually look it up by default. We have to make sure that Source Filmmaker knows, hey, we added a new game. Make sure you look into this folder. To do that, in your Source Filmmaker game folder, click on User Mod, and in here you'll see a text file called gameinfo.txt. Open this up and this is where we're going to let Source Filmmaker know that we added a new game. If you look under search paths here, if you scroll down in that text file, you'll see all the games that we have added. And we need to add one more, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So we're going to add a new line to this text file, put game, just like the other lines, tab over and type CSGO for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now save that, and you can close that text file. So that was basically the last step uh, to add our new things to Source Filmmaker. All we have to do is now restart Source Filmmaker because uh, it has to uh, find that folder again. So we're going to simply restart. All right, with our shot loaded, we can actually go in and uh, import a new model. And if you look at the top here in the model browser, if you scroll down, you'll now see an option for Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, the one that we just added. So if I select that, it'll only show uh, things from that game. If I scroll down to Player, I can actually import one of the player models you can see here. Let's, uh, let's import this guy. He looks pretty badass. All right, there we go. We have the model successfully imported into our scene in Source Filmmaker, and I move this work camera around. There we go. The last thing I want to show you is how to import custom models from, let's say, Gary's Mod and get them into Source Filmmaker. Now, to actually use this site for Gary's Mod to get all these custom things, you have to have bought 
Gary's mod, and you have to link it with the, your account with this website so it knows. So I didn't actually know that before. So I had to actually buy Gary's mod just to get some models on here. But I think it's worth it because some of the things that people create are really cool. Now I want to import this. It's a Manco supply crate and key for TF2. I think it'll be really cool in a movie or something like that. So I want to import this into Source Filmmaker. So I'm going to download the file. Go to my downloads and extract its contents. So you can see here in the Manco Create folder, it actually organizes things so that you kind of know where these uh, folders are going to be going. Now, personally, I don't really like to drag things like immediately and have things merge on its own. I don't really trust that kind of stuff because I don't know what's being moved. So what I like to do is if I go in my TF folder, I want to add this stuff to my TF folder because it's part of Team Fortress 2. And you'll notice that there is a similar. Uh, they have the same folders here as they do in this level here in the TF folder. There's a materials folder, and then there's a models folder. And they do this for a reason. It's because they want you to know where these things are going to go. Basically, if you if you go to the downloaded Manco crate model that I want to use here, I want to drag this into the models. A folder in my TF directory. So models to models and materials to materials. So I'm here in Manco Create Models. These are the ones I downloaded and I want to put it in TF Models. So I just simply drag this over into TF Models. And I want to do the same thing with materials, but materials is one folder deeper. If I go to materials and models, that's where I'm going to need to uh, need to put the files. So materials and models here. Uh, materials and models. So I want to put this Manco stuff in materials slash models. And there we go. So now it's in the right location. And all I have to do to, to get it in Source Filmmaker is I don't have to actually restart for, you know, when, when I'm adding new models. You don't have to do that. Uh, all you have to do is rescan the library. So if I want to import a new model, just click rescan up here. It's going to rescan the entire thing, and I want to actually look up just TF for uh, Team Fortress 2 because that's where I added my model. And I believe it was called Manco. There it is, Manco. And you can see that under Manco, there are a bunch of these models. Uh, and there you go. We'll, we'll import a key or something like that. There we go. So now we have the key, which is not a standard model, but one from one for Gary's mod. We now have that in Source Filmmaker. So I hope I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you guys learned a lot about how to import things into Source Filmmaker that are not TF2 related because they only give you TF2 stuff to start with. But I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who want to put other stuff that's non-TF2 related and make really cool movies in Source Filmmaker. Uh, do note that actually the models given in the TF folder for Source Filmmaker are actually a very old build of Team Fortress 2. It's not the actual current build. So you, right as of this recording, you won't have things like man versus machine. They may add that later on, but I had to actually use the same process to import man versus machine things into Source Filmmaker. And to do that, it's basically almost the same way. Uh, you have to navigate to the correct folder. In this case, I'm going to go to, uh, it's not commons, but it's actually your actual game folder. Um, if you go to, sorry, Steam Apps, you'll see that there's a lot of these GCF files. And these GCF files are the ones that are going to be updating. And so if you can see here, there's Team Fortress 2 stuff. You can look through these, use GCF Scape to extract these files and basically add them to Source Filmmaker in the same way. So I hope you learned a little about how to import custom things into Source Filmmaker. And I'm really excited to see all these different types of movies people are going to make that are not TF2 related. You know, it's going to be really cool to see like Counter-Strike Global Offensive stuff or Portal 2 stuff. It's really neat to see these kind of things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.